Hello everybody. Our next camera is another one from the dawn of digital. It's the Minolta Dimage V, or 5, I'm not sure. It is from 1996. It used to say D-Image, but I found a video from uh, Photokina in 1996. One of the reps said Dimage. Uh, it has a rotatable, extensible lens, 4.8 to 13 millimeters. It's 34 to 92 millimeters, uh, 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, use this rocker for tele and wide, and then all the way over in this detent, it's macro. Uh, macro is good from five centimeters to nine and a half centimeters. It's got a pretty sophisticated lens for something this old. It's nine elements in seven groups. The aperture is fixed depending on the zoom range. You can't adjust it once you're at that zoom range. And it goes from uh, f5 to f5.6. It's fixed focus. It shoots 640 by 480 JPEGs, 330K images. Uh, they're 24 bits deep, so uh, resolution-wise, it's really similar to the Apple QuickTake 200. The shutter has a pretty amazing range. Uh, it goes from a 30th of a second to 1 10,000th of a second. The ISO is also fixed. Uh, they say approximately 160. Not sure what that means, but anyway, so it's fixed and it's pretty low, so it needs a, a good shutter range. It has a 1.8 inch color LCD. That's the only finder on here. You transfer images off of it. Um, it has an 8 pin serial port uh, for talking to an old, old Macintosh or it has an RS-232 cable, which is also kind of hard to find on PCs these days, or you need a reader that can do the five volt smart media. Uh, amazingly, this guy came with a couple of cards. In fact, it was new old stock. Pretty amazing considering its age. So I got the manual, software, cables, Everything was in the box, so pretty amazing find for something this old. It does have a built-in flash. They don't give a guide number, um, but when the lens is set to wide, it's good for 0.3 to 2.5 meters. Uh, it's about up to 8.2 feet. And tele, it's good for 1 to 2.2 meters. That's hair over three feet to a little over seven feet has different flash modes you step through with this button the usual you force it off force it on for fill and automatic and it reads this tiny little sensor on the lens assembly to decide if it needs a flash a really really cool feature of this is the lens comes off I gotta remember how to get this guy on here. And then you have this cord, so you can do around corners, anything like that. So hopefully you can see, hopefully you can see the viewfinder and see there's a couple of cats over there and the lights that's really kind of a cool feature and that reminds me of one thing this rotating bit here the normal position with the lens is facing forward but you've got the body upright like this the flash will only fire when it's in that position the camera will work you know if you're like this to where you're using it um, like a TLR display, but that's the only way the flash will fire. It has this little door in the back, and that's got some of the less frequently used uh, things. It has a 10 second self timer, this little one made for a ballpoint where you can clear the memory contents or reformat a card. This little slider is fine and standard. Standard, it 
bumps the resolution down to 320 by something, half in each dimension from VGA mode. You can also set the camera's date and time here, and you can select exposure compensation when you're in shooting mode. Use these plus and minus buttons on top. And they're used for most of the menus to cycle through the menus and then you use the shutter button kind of as your enter key. So there's the flash, this display steps through just the picture, a bunch of information, just the frame number in the picture. And then lock is you can lock an image so you don't accidentally delete it. And then of course here, record and play mode. That's pretty much it for the controls. Um, also like the Quick Take 200, this guy runs on four AA batteries. You have to use fresh ones and use strong ones because also like the Quick Take, this guy eats through them like crazy. So I haven't shot much. I've got about four sample pictures. I'll shoot with it again and I'll see you then.